from Sefki Arena on the campus of the University of Albany, we welcome you to the 2014 American East Basketball Championship. Averaged 42 points in those two meetings, both won by Vermont, but a good start here for the freshman from Texas, Jacoby Armstrong. So teams, well, they would never play zone. Always a man-to-man -man team. You see Cannon loose and pull up. He's been able to play the last 11 games heading into this one. This is a little bit outside his range, but not afraid to take. Cult to recover to against the fast break. Lucin found a spot and knocked down the three. Conan just into the game and wasting no time to get it on the score sheet. Too strong. Bokel does so well. Spinning, throwing it up, and it rolls off the rim, but Harold's there to clean it up. Does you actually remember Candon? Uh, Sandra Carissimo rotating. We see Scott right now. Yeah, Eric. Three feet behind. Trying to create something. Creative. How about that little finger roll to the basket for two? It's on the run. A lot of foot traffic in that zone defense. Scott feeling pretty good right now. Harris for three. Another timeout for Vermont. Another flash to the high oh, post. Good high roll. Rip. And a great block by Pelcher. If you don't put a lot of pressure on passers like Vokel on top. And that's one way to beat the zone with outside shooting as Rusin now has 10 points. That's Boy, this is really good offense by the University of New Hampshire. You can see Patrick Conan went over to set a ball screen, and then as his defender started to hedge, to set up to hedge, he cut right to the rim. That's terrific two-man basketball. And try to score. Apfeld will try it from outside and score. Rusin inside for two. He's got 12. That's those extra possessions you need when you're shooting poorly. And Sandro Carissimo with his first field goal of the game. And to man now for the guys in blue. Bokel with the turnaround. Bokel yeah. trying to back in McDonald. Too strong. Kurt Steidel for three. And that's got the way it. they play. Again, against the man-to-man. -man. They're sprinting off this court with smiles on their faces as they've got into rhythm here. And their fans are right on their back. Where you get Chris Pelcher trying to guard Brian Vokel on that switch on the ball screen. There's Clancy Rugg. Gets the roll. Only two points in the first half for the leading scorer for Vermont. This is good ball screen defense by the Catamounts. And a three-pointer for Bronner had the early turnover. He comes back and knocks down a three. Crispo tries to shoot over on Vokel, finds a way to get a rebound. Dished it off to Rugg. Count it and the foul. Vermont, Dion into the game. Conan on the baseline, reverses up and in. Well, that's terrific. You know, range, can't get it, and Vokel gets another rebound and finds Rugg cutting to the basket. Conan. Elcher goes after the rebound. Gets the put well, he worked hard for that recovering. Going in for three. Steidel trying to fill, just running around the three-point line. Good pass inside. Good extra pass. Dion steps inside for a two and makes it. Elbow. That fell wide open. Yeah, he can do that. Those are all good closeouts to Bronner. No three there. Vokel to Dion. <laughs> Dion over the Defensive Player of the Year in America East. How about that? Again, facilitating by driving the ball into the middle of the zone. Brian Vokel. Carissimo gets a three. They clearly want to slow the game down a bit. I can't pass up open shots like that. Apfeld for two. Tasca and his crew. That is archives right there. I don't want the point where I don't want to jinx anything. Yeah. How about the play of Patrick Conan? Bronner passes on the three-point yeah. attempt and turns it over. That's yeah. one thing the Wildcats cannot afford to do is turn the ball over. Yeah. Bokel. Bokel pulls up. He's into double figures in scoring, and that triple-double is in reach. Herb. Dion. Back iron. Conan flies in and puts it back. Great play by Patrick Conan, who has 19 points. He's got it up top with five. The feed down low. Apfeld oh, makes the extra pass. Well, that kind of sums it up for Vermont. And Vokel is on the floor with the basketball. Rusin for three. It's good. Bronner knocks it down. Vermont will put it into play, and that will do it here in Albany. A lot of A victory respect. Victory for John Becker's team. It's official, a triple-double for Brian Vokel, the first in his career. And I think they're telling him right now, yeah, you Lance got it. <laughs>
Vermont wins it 77-60 the final. Albany and UMBC will be on the floor here getting ready for quarterfinal number two.